morning students i hope you all are fine enjoying the videos shared by us and every day learning something new and interesting so today we are going to start the last topic of chapter 2 polynomials for class 10 and the name of the topic is division algorithm for polynomials now what is this division algorithm division algorithm it's a very old concept which we study in our very junior classes where so first the topic is division algorithm for polynomials and it is based on the previous concept which was dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder so this division algorithm for polynomials also holds this concept that dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder now what actually this division algorithm for polynomial is let's take a polynomial px a polynomial px divided by another polynomial gx gives qx as quotient and rx as remainder then the division algorithm says this px is equal to gx into qx plus rx now in general when this gx is the factor of this polynomial px then the value of rx is zero otherwise the value of this rx is less than one less than the degree of this gx so what we are going to write rx is equal to zero when gx is factor of px otherwise degree of rx is always one less then degree of gx this is a very important concept when this rx is zero it is only zero when gx is factor of px otherwise the degree of rx is always one less than degree of gx one more thing in terms of degree i am going to write for you here that degree of px is equal to degree of gx plus degree of qx this always holds true the degree of px is always equal to degree of gx plus degree of qx now the rx is 
I told you already oh, Rx is equal to 0 when Gx is factor of Px otherwise the degree of Rx is always 1 less than the degree of Gx. Now let's take one example to understand this concept. So I am going to write one polynomial Px another polynomial Gx and I am going to show you the division algorithm so example 1 px randomly I am writing one polynomial x cube plus 2x squared plus 3x plus 4 and gx randomly I am writing x minus 2 so when we divide using the long division method x cube plus 2x squared plus 3x plus 4 is divided by x minus 2 this will go x squared times will give us x cube minus 2x square so <clears throat> this is minus this is plus this will come 4x square and this is plus 3x so this will go 4x time so 4x square minus 8x again minus plus this will give us 11x plus 4 so this will go 11 times and 11x minus 22 and when we subtract again this will give us 26 so this is our qx and this is our rx if we see the concept what I told you that degree of px so degree of px is 3 degree of gx which is 1 degree of qx which is 2 and degree of rx is equal to 0 so I told you this degree px is equal to degree gx plus degree qx so 3 is equal to 1 plus 2 and I also told you that this degree of rx is 1 less than degree of gx if you see the degree of rx is 0 and the degree of gx is 1 so this rx 0 is 1 less than 1 this holds true for every polynomials and every division algorithm. Now, <coughs> this polynomial is a cubic polynomial. But here in this chapter, we are going to study biquadratic polynomial. That is, the degree of those polynomials will be 4. Now, let's take another example. And we will find the zeros, other zeros when one or two zeros are given. So let's take another example. It is given that Px is in a polynomial is equal to 2x to the power 4 minus 3x cube minus 3x square plus 6x minus 2 and the question is px is this and other two zeros are root 2 and minus root 2 then 
find the other zeros. Now if we see, in my previous lectures I told you that the degree is the highest power and this degree is equal to the number of zeros as well. Here the degree is 4, so the number of zeros in this polynomial is 4. The two zeros are already given, it means we will need to find the other two zeros. Now, for this, how we will solve such questions? So, we assume let x is equal to root 2 and x is equal to minus root 2 are the two zeros. Using this, we will make a quadratic polynomial. How we will make? x minus root 2, this will become and x plus root 2, this will become. So, our gx will become x minus root 2 into x plus root 2. This will be x square minus 2. So, we will need to find the qx. Here, these two are the zeros and with the help of these two zeros, we have formed one polynomial gx. It means this gx is factor of this px. So, the value of rx will be 0. Now, we apply the division algorithm here. x square minus 2 and this will divide 2x to power 4 minus 3x cube minus 3x square plus 6x minus 2. And this will go 2x square times. This will give me 2x power 4 and this will give me minus 4x square. So if we subtract, this is minus, this is plus, this will give me minus 3x cube and this will give me plus x square. Again, if we see, this will go minus 3x time, so minus 3x cube and 3, 3 plus 6x. So this will become plus, this will become minus, these two will be cancelled. And here it will be x square minus 2. This will go plus 1 time. x square minus 2. And minus plus cancel cancel. So this is my qx. Which is again a quadratic polynomial. And we will solve this qx. So 2x square plus minus 3x plus 1 will give me 2x square square minus 2x minus x plus 1 so 2x common x minus 1 plus 1 common x minus minus 1 common x minus 1 so 2x minus 1 and x minus 1 so here this will be 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 and x minus 1 is equal to 0. So this will give me x is equal to 1 by 2 and x is equal to 1. So the other two zeros of this polynomial will be x is equal to 1 by 2 and x is equal to 1. So this whole next exercise 2.3 of your NCRT Chapter 2 will based on this algorithm concept where in some questions you need to find you need to verify the division algorithm in some questions you need to find the quotient and the remainder in some questions you need to find the other zeros and this today's lecture will help you to solve the next exercise of your NCRT and that exercise is exercise 2.3. I hope you will able to solve with the help of my lecture and this is for today. Thank you.